Welcome. This video will show you how to track and trace your materials and product batches with MRP Easy. Enabling the tracing setting at settings, software settings, enables full traceability for tracking batches of physical goods with MRP Easy. While disabled, you can only label purchased materials or manufactured products to determine their source purchase or manufacturing order. Once you enable the tracing setting, you can also track the batches of products shipped with a particular customer order and the batches of used materials in each production run. Batch tracking can be enforced with the help of stock lots in MRP Easy. What is a stock lot? Stock lots are record-keeping objects used for tracking the goods that move through your inventory. Each stock lot has a specific source, such as a purchase order, and one or many destinations where it is consumed. Each time you purchase a material or make a product, a new unique stock lot number is created to identify it. You may have many stock lots of the same item, manufactured at different times, with different costs, shipped to different customers, and so on. In MRP Easy, you will find the list of stock lots in the stock. Stock lots section. First, let's look at determining the source of our purchased goods. When we receive goods with a purchase order, we see that each line has a unique target lot number. To be able to trace the physical goods back to this purchase, we print lot labels from the purchase order and stick them on the goods. Later at stock, stock lots, we can find the lot number we're interested in. Here, the source field will point us to the original purchase order. We may want to record our vendor's batch numbers as well. For the vendor's batch number, we create a custom field for stock lots and tick the persistent checkbox. We open the stock lot and fill in the vendor batch number field. If our vendor encloses the certificate with batch number and production date, we can attach it here as well. Now let's look at determining the source of our manufactured goods. Each manufacturing order has one or several target lot numbers, which track the output products. We label products with a lot number so that we can trace them back to this MO number. Later, at stock, stock lots, we can find the lot number we're interested in. Here, the source field will point us to the original manufacturing order of the goods. Now let's see how to track the material used in a product. When a manufacturing order is created, initially the necessary materials are reserved from available stock lots. Inside the manufacturing order, we see the material lots we should pick and where these are located in our stock. The information is also available for the workers via the My Production Plan and Internet Kiosk interfaces. We can also make changes to the lots by releasing some bookings and adding others. Once we finish the MO, it is important that the material lots listed in the manufacturing order are actually used. Later, we can find the source of the materials from this manufacturing order. When we click on the material lot numbers, we can find the source purchase orders of the materials. In customer orders, before we can send the products to the customer, we must first book them from stock. We can manually choose to book from specific stock lots, or the system can automatically inform us of the lots to pick from. Now, when shipping the products, we must pick the stock lots indicated here in the shipment, which will provide the documented trace of which lots were sent to this customer.
To find out which batches of products were sent to customers in a certain period, we can go to Stock Stock Movements and open the sales report for a complete overview. If we want a report of lots associated with a particular customer order, we should open the customer order report named Bookings. On the customer order page at each line, we see the source column, which shows directly where this lot of products came from. Clicking the MO number will show us the manufacturing order details, where we can see all the used materials and performed operations that we can investigate. If we want a report of all materials related to products in a particular customer order, we should open the customer order report named Raw Materials. To see a stock lot's inventory history, we can open the stock history report, which lists in and out movements. To see what materials have been used to make products in this lot, we should open the content report of the stock lot. This is especially useful if you have multi-stage production with sub-assemblies and half products. In this video, we have shown you how to achieve full traceability of materials and products in MRP Easy. To learn more about MRP Easy, please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.